grandfather, uh, they live together, the grandfather in the male side, you know, grandfather and then uh, father, mothers and the kids and the, that's that family, imme uh, immediate family. Then the second year, a uh, second day, then there will be the girl side. So like uh, if your father have any the sisters, then the, the sister, the, the, um, the aunt will come in to visit the, um, the, fa uh, the fathers, you know, um, to, to, and also uh, uh, the, the com they come in. And then uh, we, have, we have to like uh, make a big meal for all those uh, aunts coming back coming in, they call coming back. Um, that's what the, how, how they do. And you go over to the, some of the more um, distant relatives and then you go to the third day, four days and the fifth day. Usually like, if you notice that, uh, like in China, um, I, I don't know, I don't count about this year or last year, okay? Usually they close seven days, no business because so they go around back to the hometown and they go to each house and they visit the family with, the, with some goodies, you know, like, like the, the sweet stuff or something like that. That was the only question. Doing okay. Okay. All right, so you can go to the kitchen. I will probably take a few minutes. I need to take off my <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, so we're going to the kitchen. I'm joining a few minutes late. I'm so sorry. This is Elena with the YMCA, and I'm so happy that Connie is able to do this. And I appreciate my coworker Crystal helping as well as Kevin. Uh, I know it was an exciting tour, and I know we're all hungry and ready to eat. Buddha's delight. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, all right, so you now we're going to back to the kitchen. Uh, kitchen, we're doing the border tonight. Okay, so um, the 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 name I think everybody probably very familiar with the name Buddha delight. If you go to the um, American uh, Chinese restaurant or even American Chinese restaurant, we talk about the food. Oh, I well, want the which it, uh, in vegetable session with the Buddha delight. The name of uh, the name, the term about Buddha delight is a come from uh, that really the monk food, okay? When the monk, the monk don't eat meat. So when they, when they go to the family, you say some of the, um, the, the uh, some of the um, uh, uh, some the house, you say, see the monk walk by and they have no food, they will give them they cook them, uh, the vegetarian food, to the call the food. Then the call of the food will be just like water with you, with you going into the sea. And uh, just plain vegetables, all sort, sort of different kind of vegetables mixed up together. So, <clears throat> so that's what you call the food of light. Um, but that stand uh, when you in the new year time when I explained it to everybody about that we need the vegetarian food we're not eating meat. Then then we in this there are two the different versions. The northern part of the uh, of the people they just they using the ingredient might not be the same like the uh, like the southern part and uh, they are using more like a soy sauce only. But in our southern part we using. Uh, the the at the, the little bit different on it is the 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 tofu the little uh, the uh, fermented bean curds in there, okay. So make a little bit difference. We have the southern taste. Um, so uh, might for the new year we do because the monk food 
and the Shaolin Temple. So we have 18 ingredients in there because one of the famous things about the 18 uh, different um, the, of the famous monk, like the, or in the Japanese term is like ninja, okay? So uh, each of the, these ingredients um, have uh, some meanings. Let well, me get closer. Um, okay. So start from this here. Uh, the baby bamboo shoot is a meaning for promotions. Okay, you will you wish the people you eat it, you will be keep going because it's a baby. Uh, There's a baby coins, you know, you will be getting the bigger coins, right? Uh, for the salary, the Chinese. Uh, this is a Chinese salary. Means like. You save a lot of saving, okay? You you really have uh, you not the spending you not the big spender. You should keep saving, then you have abundant. So carrot means uh, prosperity, okay? Because it's a golden color, you have to be like red color. It's a good luck. And here, the little uh, snappy. So this uh, snappy is like you four season is still growing, so it's always abundant. Okay, it won't be have one season with no snappy. So, um, the tofu bean curd. Okay, this uh, that have um. Uh, that means you for uh, you 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 know that. You um you are very satisfactory it's about you satisfy what you have you don't want to wear greedy so you always have a, a a lot okay and um like um this kind of um what enoki kids mushroom mushroom okay enoki mushroom and this uh, uh day lily box okay. That's mean money, okay? This is a Noki mushroom not supposed to be white color. It's supposed to be like this, golden color, okay? Um, so like the wood ear, this is a wood ear. See the root is a wood ear. Um, is, have you anybody know what a wood ear is? Okay, the wood ear, and this kind of a, 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 a little snow year, it's a, those are the type of the mushroom type, okay? But dry, so then also the other word like a fungus. Um, those are mean like um, you, you, um, you, do, you very, uh, uh, very uh, good, good to your parents, okay? You're always listening to the parents, you know? And then we, we Parents and the children, they work out well, well together and peaceful. Okay, it's also mushroom, it's the same way. Normally when when you, you know a vegetarian dish, a mushroom means a little bit like higher level. You well, you may well uh, you have a prosperous, then you have a mushroom in there. And I choose this uh, oyster mushroom, fresh one, instead of dry because of for digestion is a better. Okay, we the, the that and then we move from here. We have um, lotus seed. We talk about that the sweet lotus seed and the ginkgo. The ginkgo seed, you know, ginkgo is the oldest tree in 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 China. That means longevity. Okay. Um, and here the red uh, jujube. Jujube is a uh, represent like. You have, um, oh, that's a, like a good luck. And also uh, you have a, a good, you know, if you have a going to have a baby, you're married, then you're going to baby, then you have a baby. Yeah? Wish you would have a baby. Now you back it in here. We have that, uh, uh, that uh, leopard cabbage. Um, 
Okay, don't take the word leper. I think that's because the new names in here. Because in, in China, we call the big tap, the uh, big bok choy. You know, it's so fun. It's well funny, called the huge bok choy. Uh, because it grow in the certain that's the northern part of the uh, of the of the China. Actually, the, the this kind of the big bok choy, uh, the the leper cabbage, is a hybrid between uh, a daigon and also a, a cabbage, the Western cabbage, and they they grow it together. So, so it was huge, and they take the sound of the vegetable called. Uh, Die, uh, die bad choy, that means prosperity, I mean, die fat choy, you know, that's how they take the sun. And the same, and the same thing with this, the sea moss, the same thing. They're like a, like a hair, like a so thin, there's a sea moss, okay, like the seaweed. So we call this uh, using the term like a fat choy, okay? Um, the starch ludo beans, ludo means they always long, uh, so long, never stop, never stop. That's mean um, you just like the keep like longevity is a, a lot to keep going on and on and on. Okay, so that's all the meaning for the food in here. Okay, yes. and the question is, uh, will the participants get a copy of the recipe? Yes, uh, Elena will uh, will send it to you after the show. With also the with the. Uh, my Chinese and New Year traditions or the writing in the on my, my web page. Or if you're yeah. interested, you also look up our uh, my web page at uh, lakobi.org that have all kinds of traditions uh, in that beside only the New Year, we have a moon festival and such. Okay, she said okay. thanks. Okay. <laughs> all right, so yes. let's uh, begin the cooking. Also, that we normally for the for the Hmong food, you don't use gingers and garlic because they, for the Daos and the Buddhists, they don't eat ginger and garlic. But for my see that we are not religion, so I'm gonna use it for the taste, okay? And uh, we have this, like one side, the southern part, we do the the bean curd. That's a little special for that. Uh, you can get it in the Chinatown. The one is red and the one is the white one. They all have wine and the fermentation, okay? In the, so the bean curd. And I already fixed the with uh, sesame oil and uh, the one tablespoon of the sugar. And I show you how to do the smash it up first before you put it in the wok. Um, then I have uh, two tablespoon of uh, the soy sauce and uh, this uh, I'll start, start to uh, cooking oil, okay? Now okay, let's get going. Oh, um, I have uh, two pans going on, and once I stir fry a little bit of the one, uh, one, number one, number two, number two, number three, number four, four different sessions, and I will transfer to the this the time jeans one here. This actually is not Chinese; it's a Moroccan. Okay. I thought, uh, and that, that will be braised a little bit before you serve it on the table. First, we need to put the two tablespoons of the oil, cooking oil. And I put half of the ginger in here. This is one quarter cup, so I put one eighth. Okay. 
in the top of that garlic. Today I chose a wok because I think it's a um, wok is the cleaner and the faster for oh, this stir fry. See, you can see the little golden color now real fast, you know. And then put carrot. I drew in it, so it's a one half, uh, one half cup of carrot. The snacky for planning forward. There's a little celery. The baby corn is from the pan, so you can buy in the pan, okay? We need to have some virtual smells here. I know it must be deliciously smelling great in your kitchen, Connie. <laughs> Don't worry about our cooking sauce yet because a little um, dough being curved is a very salty, okay? So you just like cook this naturally here, just stir fry for about two minutes. So you the high heat and the wok is a so the high heat right here. Question, is that a special pan you're using? It's a wok. It's a Korean wok. Korean wok. You see the kind of like a little bit stir fry, a little bit of good enough because we're going to braise it so you don't have to cook it very long. So about two minutes, you can see that the oil can go through each of them. You're going to transfer it to here. Fry up nicely. Yeah. A little bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil. Okay, now we're gonna move to the tofu. Uh, before the show, I fry some tofu here. See, look at the tofu I've already fried. Fry tofu to mean the prosperity, okay? Um, the local thing in there. We have the sweet tofu 
this is home with this is soft tofu stick. You just soak it on your hand. You have to soak it like over night for the soft tofu. Okay, have some mushrooms. Wood here. Uh, to the mushroom. So little uh, day lily bulb. So you soak it over night. The mushroom um, are you saying are you saying fresh? So you don't need to do much of that. Okay, fresh is good, but you have to be careful. Some fresh that might have a mold. Don't use it, you don't see it correctly. So it's kind of trade off right before the using a local uh, mushroom. Like Kevin, have a good dinner tonight. Yeah, <laughs> and then we're gonna put uh, like a little bit of soy sauce. important about that you need to soak overnight because then you won't be like so hard to digest all okay now you look at it if it's a, say oh they look very dry then you add a little bit of water to the so don't let it don't let it completely dry out but you no know, the mushroom is pretty wet so it will be okay no, which sausage you add? Was it soy sauce? It was the soy sauce. One half of that, and you, you kind of like because we we buy the four different section to go to saute, so you kind of like uh separate. But I use one half now, and then using one half of the other. Okay, the sound are looking good now. Look, it's already very nuts and all. So everything have some oil, one food, and we put it right here. So. And not nice, okay? What is it? Okay. Right. Now we cut to the rest of the oil. And the rest of that. Garlic, ginger, and the garlic here. Walk is a fast, so you have to constantly stirring. You cannot uh, let it sit like the other, like cast iron or something like that. It'll burn. So now we got the time for all the seed. 
So we do uh, lotus seed, ginkgo, and the juju. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of cooking oil did you use? Um, I I using you can use a um, I use a I use a peanut oil. Okay. You could use a olive oil, or you can use coconut oil. But the black coconut oil, you might have a coconut taste on that. The coconut oil is well healthy. So I use the peanut oil because I fried the tofu uh, the, uh, before the show. You could buy the in the store, buy the really already fried tofu. You don't need to buy. But unfortunately, when I open the package, that fried tofu have mold. So I just hurry up and fry my own tofu for, the, for this one. Okay, the, the right here, you roll around, make sure this seed already has some oil. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's not now the time to add our leopard cabbage. I do it last because that's the cabbage tends to let, uh, let some water come out. Okay. Okay, there you go. It's kind of a little dry, so you might need some water. So we put one quarter cup of water, okay? This is one cup and I'm gonna make sure it's just a little bit of that. We put the rest of the soy sauce back down there onto the here, the soy sauce. I myself do not like the uh, the, the leopard cabbage to be cooking too long because after you braise it, it will be like uh, again, right? So just cook good enough because I have water in down there. You can, you, you, you can see it's already getting softer faster if you have to add some a little water. Okay. And very soon I'm going to take it out and leave the seed in. It's a little tricky, so I need to put the vegetables up here and you leave the seed in. I'm going to turn down a little bit of the, uh, the fryer. Oh. In my call, uh, my hair does some sound, maybe that she's still full. <laughs> okay, could you pause it? <laughs> Sorry. Well. Let me, let me, uh, let me the call. My dog's feeling food, okay? <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's, it's looking good though, I can tell you that. Kevin, I hope you're hungry. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, our our dog got into the dessert tray in the other room, so we're taking care of that real quick. Oh, no worries. Well, while, while Connie stepped away, I will be sending everybody the recipe as well as all of the traditions oh, that Connie talked about. And it's really <laughs> sorry oh, about back. that. Okay. I think I think she ate she ate quite a bit of uh, lotus seed. Hopefully she's not getting sick. Probably not. Huh? The sweet notice it? The sweet. She'll be fine. Oh. I don't know, this kid. All right. Okay, that's good. So
sorry, I'm just like this part. Okay, now I'm gonna put the- uh, Makes a lot, a lot of people can eat. Uh, yeah, probably a, a family of four. Okay. Now the starch noodle. If you are keto, then you don't, you try to skip the starch noodle, okay? Now, what are these noodles made of? Uh, mung bean. Mung bean. Are there other choices of noodles at the Chinese stores? Uh, yes, you also can get the sweet potato, uh, like Korean. Uh, this, this a clear noodle. Um, uh, just like, um, I think you can get it like a potato starch or the sweet potato starch, which is clear noodle. Right. Also, you can get it from the uh, on the Filipino uh, grocery store too. Right, but not wheat noodles. No. no, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you get another one quarter cups of the water in the mung uh, the noodle there. The cup up a little bit. I hope that little monkey not can say. <laughs> She'll be fine. Chow dai my sweet notice. Okay, I can't find it. Good. This one, uh, this sea moss, the last thing to put in because it's very easy to melt the dung, okay? You count it to 20? Yeah, <laughs> Because it's going to cook a little bit longer right there. Sure. Here, you know? Okay. All right. And the whole thing, the point about we need to soak overnight because it's, they won't get take this so long to, to be soft. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put the sea moss in. That's the last thing. Now that you keep drinking water because you should eat a lot of sugar. All right, let's get in this and we're going to try for that and we make the sauce and put it, put it in the uh, second pan and then we braise about ten, uh, uh, 10 minutes and, and you can put it on the table for eating. So, okay, let me either put this in. right on the top and then make sure to put the moss right on the top. Okay. So the chopstick will be better to break it up. Make sure you have some red color showing on the side. Stick all around. Smells delicious. <laughs> now we're going to make this sauce, okay? Let me. Mine is looking here first. The sea moss is expensive, but 
um, it's only one once a year, and you <laughs> you have it. It's kind of good luck. Yeah. Was the sea moss dried or fresh? It's dry. It's a come. Um, yeah, it's a like kind of like a seaweed. Comes in a package at the it's store. It's come in the package. I can I can show you the package after the show. You know. Okay, for this handling this sauce, I have put the uh, uh, sesame oil. Okay, and the and the sugars, and 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 also uh, two bean curds. One is a red one, and one is a white one. The red one also have a two different kind of wine in there. It's a fermentator. So we can press it. I put a little sugar there because it's salty. Mash it. And do not use the water to try to smash it because the water with the oil together, you're going to really spread it to your face. Start to walk kind of with a little bit of oil in The place is a pretty light. You can see the place is a little bit cooked good. And we add a little bit of water right here. the paste and then the water mix it together okay good enough all right and you smell it because they have wine in there the, the, the bean curd now i'm going to put it in if you see, if you see not enough water you put a little bit more water About one quarter cups each time you add on it. Okay. All right, now I'm going to, oh. I'm going to put that uh, second pan over there and let it simmer the whole thing.
go for this. About eight to ten minutes, and then it will it will be ready to serve. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, any question? People? Wonderful. It's it's not uh, difficult. Just um uh, uh, um. You, you don't have to be like me using 18 different vegetables, okay? You can use simple five or, you know, whatever your, whatever your kitchen set. But this is just particular for the new year only. Sure. Yeah. And uh, wow. you want me wow. to show you the package? I, I think everybody was asking the Sure. I think that the questions were coming during during the cooking demo. So all I, I know now is coming is kudos to how great a job you did. Um, I, don't, I don't I don't see questions. I see thank yous. Um, I see I see what time can I pick up my order? That's what I see. <laughs> and it's really uh, it's, it's it's delicious. I I also want to just interject while we while we close is. Uh, it's wonderful today to have this opportunity to work with Planet Forward. Um, that was um, a really great match. So those of you who are on from there today, welcome you to have it. Have be with us. Connie's been great. Um, Someone's Elena froze. Yeah, she froze. I'll oh, finish okay. your thoughts. You did a wonderful job. Thank you so much for letting us come in your home and, and see your tradition and be part of that. It's amazing. Um, thank you all for being here. Again, Elena's going to email out all the information after. Um, okay. And thanks for joining us all. Have a wonderful night. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Happy you. New Year. Happy New Year. Have a good year of box. I mean, Take away the all the last year, really bad luck. We need good luck. <laughs> we had all we the lucky luck. vegetables, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody.